Thor Love and Thunder is the only Marvel movie, so far, to use the volume in its production. This made MCU history. This isn't a coincidence, since director Taika Waititi has a lot of experience with this kind of technology after using it in The Mandalorian for Star Wars. But this change hurt Love and Thunder because a lot of people didn't like the CGI in it. Stick around till the end of the video to learn it all. First, why Thor Love and Thunder CGI looks so bad. The CGI in Thor Love and Thunder was hurt by the fact that it relied too much on Disney's new technology, the volume. People have said bad things about the visual effects in a lot of MCU movies. It's not because the people working on them aren't skilled and able. Rather, it's because Marvel Studios wants VFX houses to do a lot of work quickly. Part of the blame for Black Panther's final fight with Killmonger, which has been criticized more than any other scene in the MCU so far, has been put on a tight turnaround. Thor Love and Thunder is another example. But this time, the problems are more widespread. Surprisingly, even Taika Waititi, who wrote and directed the movie, has acknowledged the problems and made fun of parts of it. People have had different reactions to Waititi's public criticism. Some agree with him, while others are angry that VFX workers, who are often known to be treated badly by movie studios, should be treated with more respect. But Taika Waititi's comments, even if they are controversial, have brought attention to the visual effects in Thor Love and Thunder. Something went wrong in Thor Love and Thunder, but it's strange that it had less to do with the visual effects department and more to do with how Marvel Studios made the movie. The problem is with how loud it is. The pandemic certainly made things worse here. To make the movie, Marvel set up a tight-knit bubble community. That's why the star's kids are in the movie. Their appearances weren't just cool Thor Love and Thunder Easter eggs. They were a way to limit the number of families inside the bubble. This could have led to too much reliance on the volume, which was used instead of filming on location at a time when it was hard to get around. The volume was a surefire way to show large crowds without actually bringing people together. It's possible that some of the problems with Thor Love and Thunder could have been fixed if less of the movie had been filmed with the volume. Thor Love and Thunder CGI misuses the volume. Thor Love and Thunder uses the volume, a new technology that was first used in The Mandalorian and is becoming more common in Disney movies. The volume, which was made by ILM, is a lot like a replacement for green screen. Actors perform in front of a huge curved LED screen that shows photorealistic backdrops. This is good for studios because it means they don't have to film on location as much, and it could save money because CG animators don't tend to be unionized like traditional set designers. Actors have also said that it makes their performances better because they don't have to make up an environment. Instead, they can look behind them and react to what they see. Chris Hemsworth has said that he especially liked shooting scenes in Omnipotent City, the home of the gods, because he could enjoy the design. The volume should, in theory, mean that every movie or TV show is as good as The Mandalorian, because it's a new technology though, directors and cinematographers have to learn how to use it. The volume encourages the making of scenes where people stand in a small area with a fancy background behind them, but don't interact with it at all. Also, since people seem to be paying more attention to the background, they seem to be paying less attention to traditional lighting techniques. This means that things slip, and the differences in quality become clear. So, the problem with the visual effects in Thor Love and Thunder isn't just the CGI. Instead, it's the whole production team, including the director, who are still getting used Used to the new today. Make sure to like and follow for more amazing content. Cheers!